In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for HNO3 plus SrOH2, nitric acid plus strontium hydroxide. First, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. There are two nitrates here and only one here. Let's put a two here. Now we have two hydrogens plus two hydrogens. Total of four hydrogens. Let's put a two here. That fixes the hydrogens and that also fixes the oxygens. So this equation, it's balanced. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. Nitric acid is going to be aqueous. It'll dissolve in water. So we write AQ. That means it'll split apart into its ions. It'll dissociate. Strontium hydroxide. Hydroxides are, in general, not soluble. They're insoluble, except for some of the group 1 elements when they're bonded to the OH. So strontium's in group 2. This is going to be insoluble. We're going to write S for solid. Since it doesn't dissolve, it's insoluble. It stays a solid. Water is a liquid. You know your solubility rules. Nitrate's very soluble. It'll AQ after that for aqueous. We have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes apart into their ions. That'll give us the complete ionic equation. Sometimes it's called the total ionic equation. Let's do that. So hydrogen, group one on the periodic table, has a one plus nitrate, always one minus. So I have two hydrogen ions, two H plus, and I'll write aqueous at the end. Let's not do that now. Two nitrate ions as well, NO3 minus. Because this is a solid, we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. So we just have our strontium hydroxide stays together. And these are the reactants. For the products, we don't split liquids apart either. So we have two water molecules. And the strontium nitrate, we said nitrates are one minus. We have two of them. Strontium, group two, two plus ionic charge. So we have our strontium ion, and then we have two nitrate ions. So this is the total or complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They appear on both sides, in the reactants and in the products. So we can just cross them out. They haven't changed. We're really not that interested in them. I see nitrates, two nitrate ions here, and two nitrate ions here. Cross them out. But everything else is unique. That makes this the net ionic equation for HNO3 plus SrOH2. So let me clean this up. I'll add the states in, and then we'll have our net ionic equation for this nitric acid and strontium hydroxide. Okay. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for nitric acid plus strontium hydroxide. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.